So, my eyes are correct. Maiden was right. Did he just use his last breath to say I have no bitch? I am beginning to think that maybe what I did was wrong. Probably not, but maybe. Why was there bacon in the soap? I almost gave a fuck. Scared the shit out of me. It's nine days until Thanksgiving. Let's use this filter to do some D&D Thanksgiving stuff. Alright, it's Thanksgiving. Who's hosting the Thanksgiving dinner? Sorcerer. <laughs> That's gonna be a damn good Thanksgiving. Alright, who is helping him cook the turkey? Paladin? Okay. He'll probably... Bless the ever-loving shit out of it, but okay. Who's the class tasked with entertaining all the kids? The fighter. <laughs> Which class is in charge of making the pumpkin pie? The fighter as well. Stupid little kids, get off of me. I'm trying to make this damn pumpkin pie. Finally, we'll end this off. Who has the most things to be thankful for? The rogue, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Butters, you're not looking at boobies again, are you? No, Dad, I'm not looking at boobies. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new series. I'm calling it DM Talk with Mathena the Mage. The series where I go over rulings at my table, and then DMs in the comment section are free to discuss on how they would do certain rulings. Today, I'm going to be talking about rogues getting to use sneak attack damage on ranged spell attacks. Now, before I get a whole bunch of rules lawyers mad at me, I do have the sneak attack thing pulled up here. Once per turn, you deal an extra 1d6 damage to one creature you hit with an attack you have advantage on. The attack must use a finesse or a ranged weapon. Now... Should a rogue be able to use, add sneak attack damage to a spell attack? No, technically a spell's not a weapon. Not in the case of this player. I normally let my players do things if they can explain it well enough. And to this player, a spell is considered a weapon. The specific spell that they were doing, they were a rogue warlock multiclass. And they were using Eldritch Blast, a damage-dealing spell that has range. Therefore, according to their reasoning, because it deals damage and has range, they should be able to apply Sneak Attack. I decided to play the rule of cool and say, you know what? I'll allow it. That ruling totally came back to bite that player in the butt when the BBEG was a rogue wizard multiclass. <laughs> but anyways, now to my fellow DMs. Comments are open. Let me know how you would have handled this situation. Would you allow them to do it? Uh, would you have changed anything with the sneak attack? Or would you have just not allowed them to do it? And most importantly, why? Hello everybody, it's time for another D&D meme review. I promise I'm going to be making this a monthly series. I know this has been a long time coming, um, but yeah, I'm going to make it a monthly series, I promise. And also, all of these are taken off of my Instagram. I have a Instagram story where I have a bunch of D&D stuff and most of it is memes, so it's time for, uh, time for us to go over those, I guess. Me. So you're playing a lizard folk. PC, correct. And your background is Outlander? Yep. Let me guess. Raised by... Yep. Raised by squirrels. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this image. 10 out of 10. Wisdom teeth. Strength teeth. Constitution teeth. Dexterity teeth. Intelligence teeth. Charisma teeth. Okay, but why would you put tiny costumes on your teeth? Don't tell me how to live. 10. Dude, what do you mean you can't find the frisbee? 
<laughs> this is hilarious. 10. Can you talk like a normal person? D&D &D jokes, dad jokes. This is probably what's going on through my dad's head. 10. When she asks if you're the only idiot your age that plays D&D. &D. Oh, merry men. <laughs> 10. I know this one's a little late, but October 31st versus November 1st, it's 10. And finally, to end things off, another one I made. When your dice keep rolling that ones and you're getting sick of it. My mom actually has this pin of this Vault Boy face. And when I saw it, I fell in love with it and I want it now. So if anyone knows where I can find one, go ahead and let me know. Comments, please. Thank you. Once again, guys, I am going to do my best to try and make this a monthly series. Just pull stuff from my Instagram. Maybe find some memes off of Google. Obviously, it's kind of obvious, but all the memes that are shown on D&D &D Meme Review are not mine. They belong to the individual posters. Um, if you check my Instagram, you can see all sorts of memes. And if you want a meme to be on Meme Review, uh, make sure you send me a message with the one that you want to see on D&D &D Meme Review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye! Polly wants your mom a sweet ass. What did the bird say? Do not blame the bird. Goodness gracious, scrape all the fire! Man, put your dick away! I can't, man! I gotta air it out! It burns something fierce! What did you do to make it burn? Well, I did steal these from Kamori's room in Class 1B. The mushroom girl? Yeah, man, I got her fungus among it. Oh, it hurts. I mean, I guess you have, like, jock itch or something. Like a fungal growth on your, you know. How in the tataki fuck did that happen? I mean, it wouldn't have happened unless you... Minetta, did you put them on? You have your ways, I have mine. Fucking rank! I have all this power at my fingertips, but... Hey, what's up? It's me!